of course, there's the cultural factor, as well, conservatives know, it's like the culturally, the black culture shifted from nuclearness to. But why? Consumerism. Oh. Would the conservative answer be less Jesus? <laughs> No, but that's a good try. I appreciate it. Uh, maybe that's a part of it. No, a big, uh, a big reason, and it could be a part of it actually. Sorry, I just thought it was funny. With the conservatives say less Jesus, um, you really have a, a, a fixed view of what conservatives are. Uh, I've been to UT, so. Okay. Uh, no, I don't believe so. No, if you look at actually in the '60s under Lyndon Johnson, the Model Cities Program and the Modern Welfare Program. Uh, these were programs, of course, aimed at righting the wrongs of discrimination in the past, mm -hmm. specifically targeted or aimed toward black people. And it incentivized single-parent households. Mm -hmm. So in trying to right the wrongs of the past, like slavery, like Jim Crow laws, like voter suppression, they created new laws, which I think we would both agree were discriminatory in that they were specifically targeting black Americans, mm -hmm. um, which subsequently created worse results. I mean, you look at the Model Cities program, you look at schools, inner city black areas where they have much higher than average per pupil spending, but the graduation rate is terrible. Then you look at them, uh, at black people benefiting overwhelmingly from, from welfare programs, uh, but overwhelmingly they are single parent households because there's an economic incentive with the current welfare system to be a single parent household. So in trying to right the previous wrongs of systemic discrimination, they made them worse. They created more economic disparity. And doesn't that kind of mirror the idea of affirmative action? where it's, well, in the past, we didn't have enough black students on campus, so we need to write that by excluding other people and including more blacks. I think it mirrors the same policies that have led to the degradation of the black American family, and I think we see that in the results of affirmative action. Primarily, fewer black uh, uh, Americans enrolling in, in uh, top-tier higher education than even 35 years ago. It hasn't worked. So your solution is less government, right? My, my solution is for them to be performative-based. It really, it, affirmative action has been negligible in its results. Uh, the only results that we see, I would argue, have been primarily negative. I would certainly argue, maybe you could argue this, maybe you would disagree, but culturally, it seems as though it's had far more negative ramifications in creating divisiveness on campus where, you know, sometimes people feel like, oh, that's an affirmative action student. Mm -hmm. You know, or like you said, you believe that without affirmative action, you wouldn't be on this campus. Um, I think the effect has been negative. I think overall, if I'm being fair, mm -hmm. the effect statistically has been negligible. And I would prefer to focus on academic standards um, and certainly not harm anyone because they're lacking a specific skin color. I think you worked really hard from what you told me. I haven't seen your test scores, but I believe you. Um, I assume you've worked very hard and you deserve to be here. And you should feel confident and believe that you have a right to be here, just as I think that an Asian American who is here should believe and understand that they have the right to be here based on the merits of their performance and the contents of their character, not because of some diversity program.